What's up, y'all? Relax. I'm here now. So, last night, I saw a movie. It was a pretty great movie. The reason I didn't upload any review yesterday is because, like, this movie is so good that I needed time to chew on it, to digest it a little bit, to think about it. And that movie was... Nope. Yeah, you heard me. Nope. So, what's impressive for me is the fact that, like, it was directed by a woke, crazy-ass bastard, Jordan Peele. So he's done, I think, three now. This is his third. He's done uh, Get Out, which was pretty good. He's done Us, which I didn't hate. And he's done this one. Nope. Now, I'm here to tell you, like, I think Nope is probably his best work so far. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and let you know that I'm probably not going to do any spoilers because... I just don't want to. I don't, I don't want to spoil this. Like, I think you need to see it. Also, I don't know that I can spoil it because it's that good. So, yeah. Jordan Peele. Nope. And, uh, walking into it, I did not expect what I saw. And frankly, that's a great thing, okay? Like, there's another moment in my history that I'm reminded of, and that is when I saw Signs, like, what is that, 21 years ago now? So when I saw Signs, I did my very best to not have anything spoiled, okay? Like, I avoided all marketing. I did not pay attention to any of it. So when I watched Signs, I was like, that's what it's about? What? Didn't see that coming. And all my friends that saw it with me were like, how did you not see that coming? And I was like, well, I did The Impossible in 2001, which was I avoided all of the marketing. Now, fast forward to 2022, and it's even harder. But I did it. I paid no attention to any of the marketing. And I'm here to tell you, if you cannot pay attention to marketing and walk into this movie, you will be blown away. And frankly, from what I understand, like if you do notice the marketing, like you're gonna walk into this and be blown away. It's not what you think it's gonna be at all. So that being said, go watch this movie. Like, yeah, I know, Jordan Peele, if you're in my sphere of the YouTubes, then yeah, you hate Jordan's, Jordan because he's woke. As I've said before, and I'll say it again, woke doesn't mean bad. Bad means bad. Okay? And being anti-woke doesn't mean good. You can be anti-woke and suck. And you can be woke and be good. Now, with this one, I don't think there's, like, a woke message at all. Like, I just don't. Like, I think that it's just straight up a good movie. I think that, I, I don't know, I think you're going to be blown away. I think that, like, it's very intelligent. One of the things that I really liked about it is that when I watched it with my friend, and there was two other friends that were there at the same time that we didn't, like, you know, this, this wasn't, it was organic, like... We just happened to be there. And I've talked to two of the three people since then. And we're all like, what? Like, what happened? Like, what, 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 what? So we had really cool conversations about, like, what it was, what it could have been, what was meant, what wasn't meant. Like, so, like, that in and of itself, to me, makes a movie great. Again, I'm reminded of signs. I'm also reminded of, um event horizon where like after you watch it you got to talk to somebody about it and thankfully i had like two other people i could talk to about it and like we could bounce stuff off of each other 
So, yeah. Like, the acting, outstanding. Like, the directing, Jordan Peele, man. Like, even if I didn't like Us, even if I didn't like Get Out, I did like both of those things. But even if I hadn't, like, I would still have to give it to him that, like, he knows how to direct a movie. He knows how to put stuff together. And, like, this one especially, like, he really knows how to put it together. Like, ah. And he's going to make you wonder, and he's going to make you think, and he's going to make you talk to other people. And you're going to have to figure out, like, what happened. So, you know, production value of this movie, amazing. Acting in this movie, outstanding. Like, I, I can't think of a time when I saw Daniel Kaluuya or Stephen Yoon or even Kiki Palmer and I didn't care for it. And, and, and Michael Wincott is in it. Michael Wincott. You might not know who he is because maybe you're like under the age of 20. But yeah, Michael Wincott. The freaking, he was in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves with Kevin Costner. He was in The Crow with Brandon Lee. And he was awesome then. And he's still awesome now. Oh yeah, and that dude who was, played the Fry's Electronics guy, he was pretty cool. Yeah. But, like, yeah, like, the acting's amazing. Like, the story itself is really, really cool. Like, I, uh, yeah. Yeah, I look forward to watching it again because, like, I really feel like there's things that I missed that, like, I could really pick up on the next time around. But, yeah, it's an excellent film. And, again, I don't care that it was done by a woke director or a non-woke director. It just doesn't matter anymore because... Woke can be good. Non-woke can be good. Good is good. So yeah, go out, check out Nope. I highly recommend it. I really think that like we all need to go see this to like let Jordan Peele know that we like good movies. So please, if you have the means and you have the time, go check out Nope. I don't think you're going to hate it. It's not horrifying. It's not like a total horror schlock fest. It's like thought provoking. It's going to make you wonder. It's going to make you think. And I don't care what side you're on. It's a good thing to think. So yeah, the monster is going to go ahead and give this four and a half, maybe even five out of five. And say, go watch it. And with that being said, like, share, and subscribe. And as we all like to, we all like to say, no, I like to say, peace y'all, love y'all, and I'll see y'all soon.